Oh, this is fucked. Look at those Corvettes. Cal, the better come through, or we're gonna be operated. Reinforcements are coming, War Gods. Until they arrive, we hold. They're going to throw squadron after squadron at us, and we will kill them, and we will hold. Understood? Seven of us against a destroyer and a hunter-killer team. How are we supposed to- On the to field before Troy, Diomedes, given strength by Pallas Athena, routed the strong greed and the disciplined. This is your Aristea, Noemi. Fight, and you will triumph. How are we going to keep them from running away before we're done with them? You know, Laporte, I could really get used to you. Here they come, War Gods. Heads up! Bandit behind your 3 9. Horseshoe oh, in trouble, bastards. Keep it up, War Gods. We're getting kills here. Stay close to the frigates and add your corner. Flash one Tev squadron. Hold by the frigates, war gods. They've got more metal on the way. Zerker Corvettes approaching beam range. Sims, if that ECM support doesn't show up. This is the UEA Engineer, on station to provide ECM support. We will attempt to disrupt Zerker's beam guidance. Stand by. I see plasma shine on the Zerker Corvettes. Clean misses. Our jamming held. Indus, Yangtze, commence your engagement. We will jam the Hood's primary weapons. On our Zerker Corvettes are turning off. Watch those AAA beams, pilots. Assault con- Pilots, we're detecting another TEV squadron jumping in. We've also got a launch from the hood. We're piling it on. Damn. That's a whole heavy assault squadron. Watch the trebs. Two, you ready for more? Ready and eager, sir. I'm just getting warmed up. Frosty War Gods, keep your shields tight. We're all over this. Heads up, heads up. Artemis Bomber Strike inbound on the Ingenia. Protect that ship, or the hood will open up on us. Stagger deployments. Watch for more waves trying to sneak in. We've got company. We have a squadron of assault fighters jumping in. They're moving to strike Yangtze and Indus. Copy that. Nail those hurts if you get a chance, people. Heads up, pilots. Kula squadron inbound. Five clicks. Don't let them bounce you. I could use a hand here. Thank 
too low. Hostile contact, heads up. Bank two empty. That was beautiful, sir. This is the UAC on Sand in the second torpedo strike division, Joby and Rimpy. Admiral Calder sends his compliments, engaging the Corvettes. This is Delta Wing, 18th Blade Dancers, UED Eris. Tagging onto your battle net and assuming escort position. I can't Good to have you, Blade Dancers. Your target's coming in. Indus, this is the Oxair. Our ECM ship just went down. Can you lend us a few channels in case more Tamp Hunter killers arrive? That's a negative, Oxair. We need everything we've got to safeguard the Ashen Core. Pilots, the Tev attack is slackened off. Disarm weapon subsystems on the nearby Corvettes so or our torpedoes can get through. Chimera Corvette Pylum is withdrawn. She'll be out of the fight for a few days. All guards, this is too TARDIS actual. Steel just slipped a warship past me. You have a strike Corvette inbound. The ETA is 30 seconds. Good luck. Called her out. Copy that, Admiral. War gods return to the Ashen Core and stand by for contact. We don't have a vector on her arrival yet. I've got a few new dents here. Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. Sweet fortune, what a chump! The Medea has emerged in broadside position and is commencing attack. Torpedo 2, brace for beam fire. War gods, Oxair. We cannot hold against the Medea. We are trying to reach the Eris for help, but the Medea is jamming our transmission. Advise. Here we go. Oxair, Yancy, we're jammed as well. Hold the Medea off while we try and push through. The Hood and its AWACS have begun an electronic warfare attack on us. We cannot overcome the Medea's noise. Magazine fire breaks are going. We are. She's relentless. We need to put some pressure on that Corvette. Anyone have a bright idea? Just lost the day of Brickta. Indus Tac, War God 6. What's the status on that gym? I need assets out here. Stand by 6, we're resolving a systems crisis. Counting you off to Yangtze Tactical. Here we go. War Gods, Yangtze Tactical. We're punching our way through, but it's going to take some time. Do what you can with current assets. Be aware that the Medea's slash beams can engage us even through ECM cover. Wait, wait, Sims! I've got that Tev comm unit on board and it's got green lights. Give me the codes to the Arisnet. You think you can handle it, Laporte? Yeah, me too. Alright, here goes. Enter 229 at Bravo Hotel 761 Kilo, then hold to authenticate. I copy, pilot. Support ship in transit. Sims? Laporte. 
I'm on the ArisNet and they're waiting for my requests. What now? Assemble a strike package to take out that Corvette. They won't let you request the whole damn airway, so be selective. Bank one low. Bank one empty. Gunship saturation strike inbound of the Medea. Or hammer's hot. The Medea has achieved a partial beam lock. She's about to open fire! Precision strike team, inbound on Medea weapons. Here we go. Sigma ready. ready to provide fighter cover for strikes of the Medea. We're going down, we're going down. This is Torpedo 2 signing off. Stay clear of our blast. Those Jovians died to buy us time. Let's not screw this up. Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. Marcus Glaive has exited the field of engagement. One less major threat. I copy, low. pilot. Support ship in transit. Tank one empty. Good, Medea. Our end run is going poorly. Resistance is fierce. Stand by, pilot. We're on our way. Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. Copy, pilot. Support ship in transit. I could use a hand here. <laughs> we did it! The Medea is coming apart. Good strike call report. That was brilliant work. Recall. Recall. Medium relief action needed at that. All Eris fighter and gunship assets respond. Pilots, with the Medea down, we should be able to contact other fleet elements. Stand by. Reading a subspace exit. There goes a Corvette, pulling Hydra from the gunnery. Indus, War God 6. Can we get some additional firepower to deal with that command carrier parked in front of the gate? Hey, you lot. What do you think the HUD's doing? Just looming there, throwing out fighters, instead of taking a blix at us. Looks like they're still having trouble with the Anginea's jamming. Rearming complete, sir. You're good to go. Guards, this is Admiral Calder. I am prepping the two TARDIS for relief action. I will not be able to recover my screen, so I trust you to provide fire to cover. Lorna, we're in rough shape. If 
the Tev Sorti a hunter-killer team or enough bombers we could lose that destroyer. Between his squadrons and Natraba's feint, the Tevs are occupied. It's Indra 2 all over again, only this time Calder is on our side. We just need to do our jobs. Prepare to assault the herd or engage hostile bombers, sir. Let's do this. Guards, this is Calder. I am closing on the hood. Her AWACS is scrambling my torpedo locks, and I need my torpedoes. Destroy it. I don't think we want to keep him waiting. Bonsai that AWACS, War Gods. Watch the escorts. Gunnery, target the hood's main beam with the CG force. Hood's AWAX cover is gone. Can you achieve a lock, Tutatis? Family, all torpedo stations. Get me solo fire on the hood. Show them out. One low. Bank one empty. I copy, pilot. Support ship in transit. Captain Sorensen, JTF War Gods. We have retrieved the target and are prepared to return to Earth. Congratulations, Captain. You just bit off a quarter of the Tev's logistical ability and gave us our first real victory in the war. That logistics ship is a treasure trove. I'm not handing it over to Earth. But Trauma and I have other plans. Sir! Admiral Burns' standing orders are to deliver all captured GTVA technology for his project. Isn't this mutiny? Martian Concordia and Jovian Systems Republic do not answer to Burn. We answer to the Elders. And while they are wise leaders, they are not warriors. At 0800 this morning, Admiral Natraba and I informed Burn that Second and Third Fleets are now autonomous commands. Admiral Burn and the Elders are committed to a defensive war that will bring the Tevs to the negotiating table. That strategy is fatally flawed. You'll find no disagreement here, Admiral. We're all glad to be finally hitting back. Hot damn! Karen, you owe me a fiver. Sir, if Second and Third Fleet plan to bring the war to the GTVA, the War God stands ready. Admiral Steele's plan to stage a single, decisive battle on Earth leaves the GTVA vulnerable to counterattack during the build-up. He is going for the throat, and Natraba and I plan to kick him in the balls. Taking out the Ashen Core will cut their supply chain. They'll need another four or five months of preparation. 
We will exploit this advantage. Sir, I have something to say. Damn it, Laporte, keep quiet. Calder will bust your balls for so much as coughing without permission. Pilot, do you have an objection to this task force's new assignment? No, sir. I just wanted to express my thanks and convey my wishes that Admiral Byrne would grow the balls to make this decision himself. Sub-Lieutenant Laporte, your willingness to speak ill of a superior officer in an undisciplined tirade fills me with a certain ill-advised respect. Consider yourself forgiven, possibly even acknowledged. Now get the Ashen Car through that gate before Steel disentangles himself and comes running to save his career. <laughs> My god, Laporte, you're still on flight status. I can't believe Calder let you off. <laughs> nice speech, Sub-Lieutenant. Did you have that all written out on some flowered stationery, taped up in your cockpit? Oh, I bet he loved your input, Laporte. He'll probably make you Special Requisitions Officer for Burns Testicles. Or something. Oh, hush. You know how I get on combat high. All right, war gods. Looks like we're gonna win this war all on our own. Let's jump home and get started. Six weeks ago, we, as a people, were coasting towards defeat. Today, we put the Federation back into contention. With the capture of the Agen Corps logistics ship, we've done nearly as much damage to GTVA infrastructure in the system as their Blitz did to us. Without the Agen Corps, they can't pressure us to the same degree. Without pressure, we can hit back. And if we can hit back, that means Steele's plan for a decisive stroke at Earth is off. Better yet, we dealt significant damage to GTVA tactical assets. Circa team and the GTD hood will be repairing at Artemis Station for several days, possibly weeks. Without those hunter killers in the field, we can deploy our own warships more aggressively. Admiral Natraba and Admiral Calder are in conference with Admiral Byrne and several elders right now. I imagine the proverbial defecation has really hit the ventilation. Byrne wanted the Agent Corps very badly, but my impression is that Calder and Natraba plan to use it to support a new offensive to retake Jupiter. The Agent Corps has as much logistical capacity as three of our standard dockyards. And it's mobile. The bad news from today was our own losses. The Tevs are reeling strategically, but tactically, they were as strong as ever. Torpedo 2 was murdered, trying to assist us. In the Neptune fight, Admiral Steele gave Natraba's artillery a sound thrashing and came near to catching the Eris itself. That man remains a menace. The Indus and Yangtze will be in dock for several days, working back up after today's beating. We have been given exemption from Jump 5 duty. While I ordinarily stay away from all squadron social activities, I think the War Gods deserve some quality bonding time. Karen Ingmay has a place in Kander Chasma, and the hiking is fabulous. I'll send a communique after the briefing.